Right, <clears throat> here we're going to do a quick unboxing of the Tongsheng TSD Z2 torque sensing mid drive motor. Now, this particular kit I order from, uh, well, I always, always order my kits from, from China direct. This one, believe it or not, took five working days from, from the day I ordered it to get to the UK. So, like, I ordered it on the Wednesday, and it, it turned up on the Tuesday, I believe. Yeah, I mean, it was, um, it turned up really, really quickly. Really, really good service. Again, I've used this supply quite a few times, and they've, you know, they've got, like, a 99 point something rating, percent rating on AliExpress. So, they're really, really, really good company. They also provide a very good warranty with these kits. I mean, the main issue with getting things sorted out under warranty from China is you do have to pay the return postage. So let's say a torque sensor failed on this motor. You would have to pay for the postage of the torque. You know, you'd have to remove it yourself and you'd have to send it back to China. Then you'd have to wait for the replacement to come back. So it's a little bit of a palaver, but me personally, if I have an issue, I'll just go and buy another one. Sometimes I've got a couple of spares knocking about, but anyway, let's get on with it. So, Great thing about the Tongsheng kit is you always get one of these, and this is a um, this is a lock ring spanner, useful to tighten. Well, you, you need it really to tighten up the lock ring. Basically, when when the kit's installed into the bottom bracket of the bike, you know obviously you've got a lock ring, and and these these are always supplied with the Tongsheng kits, which is great. You don't always get them with the Bafang kits, although a lot of the Bafang supplies in China now are starting to send spanners with their kits. So that's the first bit. Plonk that down there. Your alloy crank arms should be two of those, obviously. This is your speed sensor. Now, the lead on the speed sensor is always a bit short on this particular motor. If you if you're installing this on a um, particularly recumbent, or maybe a cargo bike, good chances you're going to need to buy speed sensor extension cable. They're on AliExpress, so only a few quid. You know, but um, that's a speed sensor. There should be, yep, a little magnet inside there as well. I don't know if you can see that. That's that bit there. In there, we've got a few cable ties and a lead for your battery, if your battery haven't, hasn't got these type of connectors. Now, I ordered for it. This is actually an extra I ordered because this is going on to, um, this is actually going on to a Gary Fisher, an old Gary Fisher mountain bike. The guy's using it off-road a lot, so um, if I can get it open. I ordered a 34 tooth chain ring to go with this. There you go, fairly basic. I think it cost, cost an extra eight or nine quid. You know, alloy, just to keep the gearing nice and low for the guy because he's going to be using the bike off-road a lot. Standard chain ring on the Tongsheng motor is a 42 tooth which for off-road use is, is, is a bit on the high side. So, anyway. Now, here's the motor itself. Still in its packaging. There it is. I mean, it's... Uh... Let's get it out of this wrap for a minute. So you can have a better look at it. difficult doing things one-handed there we go that's the motor obviously with a 42 tooth chain ring fitted it's um it's a neat little motor this i mean i've again i've fitted quite a lot of these motors um i haven't had any problems with them you know if you go on endless fear there's pages and pages and pages of people that have had issues with anything from the torque sensor through to the not not so much a controller, but certainly the torque sensor. Um, the blue nylon gear in the middle is prone to premature failure. Um, some people choose to choose to fit metal nylon gear when it goes. This hasn't happened to me yet, but I'm sure it's only a matter of time. Um, but yeah, it's actually a good little motor. I mean, the, these motors use a torque sensor which measures uh, torsional strain. 
So when you when you when you when you're putting force through the pedal, basically the torque sensor goes goes through here. And what happens sometimes is the tube, which is inside here, which me which measures obviously the, the flex, sometimes that tube can actually split or crack. And um you know it needs replace obviously if that happens it needs replacing. But um generally speaking, I mean I've I've installed a good few of these motors and so far so good. And I actually think they're really good little motors. You know, they, they, they sort of give you assistance proportion to how much sort of force you're applying to the pedals. So it's not a free ride. You've got to put a little bit of effort in, but you get rewarded with that effort. And and for me, it gives you a much more fluid, much more intuitive assist over what the Bafang, which the Bafang uses a, a cadence-based sensor. I mean, there is, a, there is a cadence sensor in here as well, and it, and it uses data from the speed sensor. But I actually think this is a really, really good little motor for the money. And this particular one is a 350 watt 48 volt. And yeah, what else we got here? Well, thumb throttle, I never fit these. Well, not on, not on this anyway. The guy doesn't want a thumb throttle fit anyway. That's the main wiring loom for the, uh, obviously going from the handlebars back to the um, display. And here we have, I'll just get out of the bag for you. It's quite a, quite a recent display this. The guy didn't want a big chunky three inch display on his handlebars, he wanted something nice and discreet. So this is the V6 LCD display, which as you can see is tiny, but it does a job. You know, it gives you all the information you need. Um, obviously your, your pedal assist mode on a Tong Sheng, I believe you get Eco, Tour, Sport and Turbo. Um, yeah, it's, it's small, it's functional, does a job perfectly. So there you have it, that is the, uh, the Tongsheng TSDZ2 torque sensing mid-drive kit. In my opinion, a really, really good little kit. But obviously, if you do buy one, be aware there are issues that do seem to happen from time to time. I personally wouldn't advise buying this kit unless you're a bit of a DIY buff, you know. If, if you don't mind taking things to bits and getting your hands dirty, you know, uh, it's not going to give you the same reliability as a Bosch motor in the long term. Having said that, I do know guys that have done a couple of thousand miles without any issues at all. I, th I think a lot of it's luck of the draw, really, with these motors. But, um, yeah, what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description uh, for the exact supplier I've got this motor off, because they are a good supplier. I've bought off them many times, and, um, you know, they deliver all over the world. North America, you know, the States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Europe, South America. They deliver everywhere, basically, and generally delivery is, is pretty quick.